Hello everyone, this is Michael Segari and I'm here today to give you a brief introduction to HLS Meta version 0 0.9. It's our um, new effect size software. We're going to give you in this video just a brief introduction to not only our software but effect sizes in general. And We're doing this so you can not only use our software but understand the benefits for your own research and the benefits of effect sizes in general. We're also going to provide at the end of all these slides, we're going to provide a bunch of videos, tutorial videos so that you can use the software with ease and use it for various designs and various statistics for your own research projects. What we're going to cover today is first some general information on effect sizes, some notes on the designs and statistics that we're going to be able to use our software for, the advantages and disadvantages of using the software and not only the software but effect sizes in general, and at the end we're going to provide links for the video tutorials so you can use our software and you can understand how you're going to implement it for your own research. We're going to start with some general information on effect sizes. First of all, an ES is a standardized metric that can be obtained from many basic and advanced statistics. It's used for the purpose of comparing the magnitude of difference between varying types of measures and studies. Because studies often examine the same phenomenon using different measures and many studies include only inferential statistics, researchers often resort to standardized ES metrics to analyze and aggregate outcomes within an individual study and across an entire range of studies. Every published study reports different statistical measures and outcomes and as a result it's difficult to compare data between and within studies. Our ES calculator can transfer those different statistics from varying designs to a stored database that converts to a standardized ES. This is going to help you when you're trying to compare one study to another when the statistics are different. You're going to want a standardized metric to be able to compare, say, means of standard deviations to proportions to odds ratios. You want a way to, to look at these and make them comparable, and that's what effect sizes are going to help you do. Additionally, there's different ways to record an effect size. We're going to use the standardized mean difference which is a standard measure common use for meta-analyses. There's a number of different effect sizes that are out there, but this is what you'll, we'll be using. Um, it will give us a mean to compare common matrices across similar studies, and it allows us to combine similar measures with different variable names to create composites. So, say there's a binary measure for one variable, say condom use, yes or no, but there's also a variable always, sometimes, never, in another study and you want to compare those two or combine those two, we're going to show you how to make a composite variable so you can do that. Our software is going to cover a number of different designs and use a number of different statistics. So it's mainly geared for experimental and control study designs. You can use it for other study designs as well, but it will be easiest and it's built to be used for this type of study design. Um, design 1 is the most ideal type of study design. It's going to compare the change of an outcome from pretest to post-test and follow-up between two groups. And usually that's going to be an experimental control group. And it's going to it's going to track the changes from pretest to post-test in each group and between groups. So what the effect size is going to tell you in this case is what was the magnitude of change in an outcome from pretest to post-test in the experimental group and what was the magnitude of change in the control group and also what was the difference in the magnitude of change between the two groups at follow-up. Design 2 is for studies that are only going to report post-test or follow-up data and no pretest data at all. So what this effect size will show you is, is it's going to tell you the magnitude of difference between an outcome in the experimental group and an outcome in the control group at follow-up only. So which intervention or control was the intervention or the control group that created a bigger change in the outcome and design three which is mainly going to be used for typically studies that are pilot designs and it's going to be just for one experimental group only and it's just comparing the change of an outcome from pretest to post test or follow up for an individual group so like i said it will most likely be for pilot studies where there's not going to be a comparison group it's only going to be one group and they're just testing out how it's going to work by testing the changes from pretest to post test, and this will give you the magnitude of change in in that pretest to post test follow up. Um, the main statistics that we can use to be converted through the calculator are means and standard deviations, means and standard errors, means and confidence intervals, f test, chi squared test, t test, z test, 
basic correlations, proportions, and out ratios. So as you can see, there's a wide range of statistics, raw data like means and proportions, then some more advanced analyses like F tests and chi squared tests. So also you'll be able to see that we're we're missing a number of statistics that are out there. We're gonna try to add some more as we go along, but part of the reason is some statistics don't transfer well as effect sizes. So this is what we have for now and it's a pretty comprehensive list so far. So this is what we'll be using for our, our software. Now we're just going to list some advantages of using our software. Number one, it's going to allow you to build a database of study outcomes for multiple studies and measures, which will allow you to go back and double check your data. It's a quicker means of data entry and storage than all currently existing effect size calculator programs that we could find. It's going to compare and combine the effects of interventions on different outcomes and measures within and between studies. And it's going to save you time. The database allows future retrieval of effect size information for future comparisons. Say you're running a future meta-analysis using some studies and outcomes you've already calculated previously. Effect sizes for you can use those going forward in your future meta-analyses. A couple other benefits. The information is easily amenable to change. You can transfer inf information easily between calculators. This is because the calculator is based in Excel. After you go through the software, it's going to output to an Excel document. And if there's errors within your calculations or within your, your labels, you can change them within Excel. And also, it's going to calculate confidence intervals based on the reported statistics. Some disadvantages of effect size in general. The first one is that there's a greater estimation and conversion from advanced analyses such as F-tests, T-tests, as opposed to raw data such as means standard deviations, proportions. This is because the F-test and T-tests are taking raw data and, and they're analyzing them in one step already. So when you put them into an effect size, it's kind of like a second level of estimation. So ideally when you're getting effect size, you're going to want to get the raw data first if it's available. If not, then you're going to go for the more advanced test and you're going to use that to convert. And one other disadvantage is that study authors commonly omit raw statistical data or outcomes in general, so you're not going to be able to locate them within a study. Sometimes you'll have to email them, and sometimes you may not end up getting a hold of that information. So on this page, we're going to, as you can see, give you a bunch of links to video tutorials on how to use our effect size calculator for different designs and using different statistics. So feel free to click around on those and we hope it's easy for you to use the software. Thanks.